Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Check out this recipe for dehydrated kale chips. And these make for a very healthy snacking food. And they've been popular for a long time, but their addictive crunchy texture doesn't get old. But in this recipe, we level up the heat to give it a pleasant seasoned flavor. And kale has so many micronutrients in it that it's becoming the new superfood. So whether you go out to the garden and pick your own, or you go to the supermarket and buy a bunch, Let's turn this into something worth talking about. And the only warning that I have for you is this can become addictive. So without further ado, let's wash up a bunch of kale leaves and let's get started. And so you take the kale leaves, make sure that they're nice and healthy and green and wash them up really well, then place them out on a towel to dry. And here I'm just patting it with the towel a little bit. But then I'm going to remove the central rib part it's a bit of a fibrous piece that's harder to dry. So for the sake of making kale chips, you want to remove that piece. But having said that, if you want to keep them and dry them later separately, you can do that and then grind them into a fine powder and use it in soups and stews. Or just simply discard them. And then you're left with the nice green leaves like this and this is what we're going to be using to make the kale chips with. Now these leaves need to be completely dry so I'm going to dump them back out onto the towel and use a fan to blow them dry. Because water and oil don't mix we want to make sure that the oil and seasoning will stick to the leaves. Now then place the kale leaves back in the bowl and sprinkle them with some olive oil. A little bit at a time, mix it in well with your hands and it needs to be evenly coated so you add a little bit more until you get every leaf coated with olive oil. And it needs to be coated completely like this. So get your hands in there and give it a good mix. Now you're going to grind some Himalayan pink salt. You do a light sprinkling of that and mix it in well. Next is cayenne pepper. And this is where we level up the heat. So sprinkle as much or little as you want to, depending on what your taste preference is. So sprinkle a bunch on top, mix it in with your hands, and if it looks like you need a little bit more, you sprinkle a little bit more. But the more you do, the hotter it will be, of course. We usually use a fairly moderate amount. Now today I'm using my daughter-in-law's dehydrator. This is a really decent one because it has lots of shelves and you can do a fair bit of kale at once. It also has stainless steel shelves so it's easier to clean up. So this is where I'd like to give a special thanks to Lisa for sharing her recipe for kale chips. He's the one responsible for my addiction to kale chips. I absolutely love them. So once you have all the shelves pushed in and it closed off, turn on the dehydrator and time it for three hours. And that's the beauty of using a dehydrator. You can just walk away and come back when it's done. Now it's time for a taste test. They should be crisp and crunchy. And that they are. So they're done. You can remove them from the dehydrator and chow down. They're nice while they're nice and hot, but they're also good when they cool off. They're great snacking chips and they're really healthy for you. Can't beat that, right? Just wanted to mention that if you don't have a dehydrator, there is an oven method that you could use. So preheat the oven to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and you would have to use a baking sheet covered with parchment paper. And you would have to babysit them more and check them about every 30 to 40 minutes and turn them over. It needs to be placed on the middle rack in the oven if you do it that way. The oven door needs to be cracked open about one inch so that they crisp up nicely and it's ventilated well. So you would put them in for 30-40 minutes, turn them over, put them in for another 30 or 40 minutes, and then check them every 10 or 15 minutes until they're crispy. So in the oven it would probably take just over an hour. But you'd have to watch them closely. Whereas in the dehydrator it's 110 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit for the temperature and then you just leave them in there for three hours and you're done. And you know, I don't necessarily enjoy kale when it's raw, but when it's done in these chips, I really enjoy them. So I'm hoping that you do too. Whether you like kale or not, you just might be really surprised at how much you enjoy these. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. Until next time, enjoy snacking. And I'll talk to you soon.